When a person goes into cardiac arrest, every second matters. The sooner help arrives, the better the chance of survival. So a couple local doctors are hoping that a new app can help. And Lisa Washington reports Allegheny County is one of the few places in the country where it's already being used. It could happen to anyone, anywhere, at any time. A cardiac arrest when your heart stops. 90 out of 100 people who have an out of hospital cardiac arrest will not survive to leave a hospital eventually. So you, the paramedics will come and treat you eventually, take you to the hospital. 90 out of 100 of those people will not survive. Resuscitation specialist David Salcido and emergency medicine physician Dr. Lenny Weiss are hoping an app can help save lives in Pittsburgh and Allegheny County. It's called Pulse Point. The free app is connected to the Allegheny County 911 system for those who are trained in CPR to get to those in need before paramedics arrive. It takes some time for the paramedics to get there. They're, they're very fast in Pittsburgh, but we know it takes some time. And we also know that traditionally, bystander CPR in Pittsburgh has been pretty low. In Pittsburgh and Allegheny County, on average, at least one person suffers cardiac arrest every day. Once 911 is called, Pulse Point pinpoints the patient's location and notifies those who are nearby. They can get to the patient and begin administering CPR or using an AED. You have a patient down at this location in the large heart symbol, and these are all of the citizens that are willing to help out and have actually received an alert on their phone. We would previously call them bystanders, but we want to change that word to layperson rescuer because uh, it's important that they actually do act and not just stand by. So far, 5,000 people have downloaded the app, including Deb Banks. So just recently, I was actually on the phone with um, my boss, who's based in Cleveland, and I was talking to her, and the alert went off. And I was like, oh my gosh. Banks is the executive director of the American Heart Association of Western Pennsylvania. She says Pulse Point perfectly aligns with the association's mission of getting more people trained in CPR, which is what she was prepared to do when she received a Pulse Point alert. So, um, I was talking to her, I'm like, I gotta go. I, somebody needs CPR. And she's like, bye, and hung up on me. And I, I ran out of my office and um, just ran down the hall and got in the elevator. and was running out of the building and it was at the Wyndham. And I got to the scene as EMS was getting to the scene and there was just six people standing there doing nothing and this woman was just laying on the ground. And I thought, do they not know CPR? Are they afraid to do CPR? And um, I was upset because that's the whole purpose. It's the only thing that'll save your life. The doctors say hands-only CPR is just fine. People don't need to worry about mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. The circulation from the heart is more important than the actual breathing. You don't need any formal training to just do hands-only compressions on a patient that needs CPR. Anyone can download this app and check the box saying, yes, I'm willing to help in the case of an emergency. The doctors say chest compression should be performed at 100 beats per minute, the same beat as the Bee Gees song, Staying Alive. Their brain is dying in that time period. It's not getting blood flow from their heart because their heart is stopped. You need to be the pump for that person. You need to compress their chest uh, fast and hard. That's, that's it. With Pulse Point, doctors hope more people will volunteer and be trained to help others stay alive. Lisa Washington, KDKA TV News. That seems like a great idea for an app. The grant from the Henry Hillman Foundation helped fund Pulse Point. The doctors are hoping to expand it to surrounding counties.